Hello everyone and welcome back to Ocarina of Time. Hello. Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome back to Ocarina of Time. I'm your host, Radmox. This is a really annoying spot to us. And today we are going to continue exploration of the Spirit Temple. Hopefully we will be able to get the um, silver oh, yeah. bullets. Man doodle. <laughs> Man doodle. Man doodle. Doodle. <laughs> doodle. I'm doodle. <laughs> Go fight that Gormagala doodle. Dude. Oh no. Woo. Woo. What's that face on the ground? Show me the light. Oh my god. I'm scared. I'm genuinely scared. <laughs> oh, what? He's doing a dance. <laughs> He's so slow at attacking. <laughs> Ow. He like uh, how long is he dogs? <laughs> show me the light! No, I don't want to show you the light. I want to cut this lizard. Show him the light so he gets destroyed. I always found it really easy to deal with them. Done. He was dancing as well there. That's Whoa, it's oh, the light! <laughs> the light! Show me the light! <laughs> Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Wait, that's not right. I'm yeah, sure. you're supposed to get oh, a bam chow. Yep, bam chow. If you run out of bam chow, you know where to find yeah. it. Yeah. But it takes a while, because you have to go in the You have to go in the Oh, God! A light! Also, I think there's ten free bomb chew in this room, so there is really no bomb excuse. Chow. But if you're really if you're really having a hard time with bomb chew, um especially in this area, just save once you pick up the cart. Cart? Uh save once you pick up this pack of bomb chew. Uh-huh. Um then give it your ten goes, but they're really not that hard to use, just point in the direction you want them to go. Um so next area. Ah, this is the big ah, area. Ah, the big area. I, I, I have no idea how to do this. Whoa! Is this place themed around snakes? Ah, uh, yeah, snakes and sand. Snakes and sand. Sandy snake. Sandy snakes. Sand. Sandy squirrel. <laughs> Voted SpongeBob. <laughs> SpongeBob isn't even a Nintendo character. SpongeBob isn't even a game character. How would SpongeBob ever end up in Smash? I would love to see it. Like it's as jokey as Dark oh, yeah, Hunt Duo. Uh, as, as who? Dark Hunt Duo. Yeah, I guess, apparently it's a joke. But character. they are well, yeah, a joke character. But at least they came from a game. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, but come on. What was I saying again? No, you were saying that Duck Hunt Duo is a weird character. No, 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 no. SpongeBob should have been in Smash. No, I'm not saying that he should have been. It's just, it just would have been funny <laughs> to <laughs> actually see <laughs> Sakurai be like. And you tones for Smash. Well, he's already in. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The Squiddy. That squid Pokemon that Yeah, that squid your... Pokemon that goes in. Always refer to him as in Futa Mocha Mocha. Yeah. He's blue uh, and then. He's got that weird He's got the hat. He's got the hat. <gasps> He's that squid. Yeah. Uh, that's opened, but we should get all of these so we can get the prize. <laughs> uh, it's a magical secret special prize. That gives you many packs. There's one. There's two. Number three. Four. And that looks like the last one. We'll also take out these guys. Have you view some of that, good sir? Oh dear. That didn't work. Ouch. Oh dear, laser man. Laser man? Yeah. Oh, God's sake. Right, I'm gonna kill this laser man. 
Bloom. But seriously, I think SpongeBob would have been an exceptional character. An exceptional character <laughs> in Smash Bros. Well, yes! You really think SpongeBob? Yeah! I mean, I guess he would have had loads of moves like flipping burgers and. <laughs> flipping burgers! <laughs> yes, and jellyfish and. Jellyfishing! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his final smash could have been. I don't know, playing that Goofy Goober song. Oh from my that god! Movie. Wait, what? What Goofy Goober? Ouch. What Goofy Goober song? From the movie. What movie? Yeah, oh, the one from the 2004 one. <laughs> I'm a goofy goober! And they sing that while they're dying. They it? sing that while they're yeah, dying. They, they sing it while they're dying and then they stop dying. So luckily the miracle happened. No, because it's because they... <laughs> oh, yeah, they <laughs> their they... tear malfunctioned uh, wire. A wire and Why are we summarising the plot of a Spongebob movie? And it made smoke appear, so they were... Oh, they were rainbow. And they were I can't believe, alive. I can't believe we're summarising a Spongebob movie. It's because Spongebob really is good! Spongebob is good, and you can't take that away from me. Well, I'm not trying to do Spongebob is kind of, like, weird, but it's somehow good. Oh, there you are. I don't know. Anyway, um... Nope! Ouch! Just looked. <coughs> uh, yeah. <coughs> so, Spongebob, yeah, he's... Yeah, I think his his final smash of the thing. Then he just be a DK clone. Uh oh, it's a dark nut. The dark nut. Scourge. He broke his own chair. Iron knuckle, watch out for his act attack. Oh, I thought it, it was a dark nut. Strike it when it drops the scar. Why did you say? Because they spell axe incorrectly. <laughs> oh, how do you spell axe? They spell axe with an E, not without an E. <laughs> so they spell oh, I'm too short to get him. Oh dear. Wow, that really does hurt a lot. The proper strategy for this guy, walk up to him, backflip, do a, do a jump attack. Oh, he's so much smaller. Yeah, once some of that stuff is removed, you can successfully... Whoa! Okay, I'm gonna have him smash down some of these pillars because I'm low. Yes, walk over here, please. Walk over here so I can take those heart. Yeah, he's slightly faster, but not by, you know, a lot. Weird sound effect. That. So I find it. Um, no, no, he can sing. He, he just, like. I don't know. This is not good. I, I don't know what would happen. Just like. It's something Patrick. <laughs> it's something Patrick. No more SpongeBob! <laughs> yes, more! He is the epitome of awesome. <laughs> Please don't tell me you just prefer to SpongeBob SquarePants. He's the epitome of awesome. <laughs> yes, he is. He is awesome and it's incredible. Whoa, I've never seen that before. Maybe Just I kidding. Them too quickly. Just kidding, everyone. Yes, all dead. All done. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I brought my smart swords. Ew. Is that why it took so long to kill? No. That guy was good. So you brought the stupid sword. <gasps> it's Kipora Kipora! Hey, what's up, Red? <laughs> Surprised to see me? A long time in this world is almost nothing to you, is it? How mysterious. Even though, even I thought the tales of a boy could travel back and forth, the legend was merely a legend. <laughs> Very rad. You are fully matured as an adult. Very rad. <laughs> From now on, you will be the future of all people in Hyrule and everyone's shoulders. 
<laughs> Everyone is not my time. But it's here, my last advice I give okay. to you. Two sandwiches <laughs> and have in this temple. <laughs> to destroy them and their magic power against the voodoo. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I will continue to watch you from afar, but I will never, but I won't talk to you anymore. And then he stops just watching be... you from afar after you get the Requiem. Oh what? And then he stops watching you from afar after you get the re Requiem. Requiem of what? Requiem of spirit. Anyway, this chest should contain the bolt. Let's see. Hopefully it will. Let's have a look. There we go, silver bauntlets. If we wore them, I'm we sorry. would feel the power in our arms. But these gauntlets won't fit a kid. And promise to give them to the board. Better keep on going. I'm sad, it's just. What was that? A cat? Huh? That sounded like Nabori. Huh? No, don't point out the fact that I'm here, please. You sandwiches! They're using black magic on me. <laughs> okay, okay, I think I really think we should go. Do you think we should go? I think yeah. we should go. Let's let's get out of here. I thought you said Noboru was um. I thought you said Noboru was. Uh, let's get out of here. How about? Let's yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Before they find us here, let's get out. I thought you said Noboru was um. Come on, come on. Temple of Time will be nice and safe in the Temple of Time. I thought they said Noboru was the. Who's the seventh sage? No, it was a second in command. Yeah. Um, that might just be some problems with the script. I don't know. I really don't know because that seems like a bit of a contradiction. Right there, she's the second in command, but she hates Ganon. She's hated Ganondorf for seven years. Maybe that black magic made her. Oh yeah, that's that's reasonable. Yeah. Hmm, well, let's... It's sad to see Kibora Kibora go. These sandwiches. <laughs> yes, the sandwiches. I can't, I can't believe that happened. It was the most beautiful send-off there could have been. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these sandwiches. <laughs> they are sandwiches. You know, come to think of it, they are in the, in the desert. So they are kind of sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> he was Sorry. never wrong. I can't Kipora Kipora was never wrong. Yeah, come back, Spike. That's it, I'm done. I can't do that anymore. As you can see, here's what happens when you put a magic bean down. It'll make an amusing wee 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 sound. Oh, that's amazing. And carry you somewhere. I know I used the I know I used the hook shot, but you're not supposed to use the hook shot. Anyway, let's get on with it. <laughs> that was. I'm sad to see Kibora Kibora go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll see him once more. When? Oh. Um. The end of game. Yeah. End of game. <laughs> now then, I wonder what this does. Wow, we're going on a magical journey! On a magical, magical journey. journey! This is actually quite magical. Hey, there's a there's a sculpture. Oh, there. it, it was supposed to bring you to that, but you failed. Oh, oh wait, huh? there's also a piece of heart. Okay, we probably should get those, not just... Equip the silver gauntlets and try to move things you couldn't budge before. I wonder what Sarah's going to say. Don't you look 
hot in those. You look as hot as the desert burns. Well, if all six sages come together, we can imprison Ganondorf, the king of evil, in the sacred realm. But in order to make a perfect seal, we need the seventh sage. Someone you know must be that sage, Rad. From now on, you must travel between past and future to awaken the remaining sages. You've got the good work. S? Did you just say? Sages, yes. I assume she says that after... Spirit Temple? Not Spirit Temple, after Water Temple. Yeah. Well, we will see you in the next part. Thank you so much for watching. In the next part, we will continue to explore the Spirit Temple and free the Lost Sage. Until next time.